You ask her your questions and she replies. Her answers are lame, but at least she tries. Colleen's Corner. Hi, welcome to Colleen's Corner every Tuesday. Answer your questions. I don't have anything to say after that, so let's just get to the questions, shall we? Julie said, what's the plural form of anus? Anuses or ani? I don't know. I feel like it, I would say anuses, but I like ani better. All of that ani was just seeping poo. Everyone's ani were ripped raw. What? <laughs> All those anuses. I think it is anuses. Josh, do you think it's anuses? It should be anuses, but I vote for ani. Because I know, I think it is anuses. It's, it's 100% anuses, but Dang. ani is Ani funnier. just sounds better. So it is anuses, but from now on, I'm definitely using ani. Smuggish said, what music have you been body rolling to lately? Easy, Beyonce. Her new album is everything. I love it. Amy said, in five years time, where do you picture your life? I'd want a baby by that point. I hope I have a kid in five years. <laughs> Josh just had a heart attack. But I really want kids. I really, really want a baby. So hopefully I'll have a baby in five years. But other than that, I don't know. I want to be alive. That's for sure. Mia said, can we talk about how all the comments on this photo are the same and also why? Okay, so this is a picture from my Instagram from a long time ago. And these are the comments. You look like a female Justin Bieber in this, oh my god. Oh my god, you look like Justin Bieber, lol, no offense. Whenever I post pictures from my childhood, I get two comments, which are, you look like Justin Bieber, or you look like Bailey, who's my niece. I do not see Justin Bieber! I do not see how this looks like Justin Bieber. And I do not see how that is what people are focusing on when I am laying on a pink carpet with Barbie dolls wearing watermelon overalls. Like, why is that the thing people comment on with all of the ratchetness that is this picture. Shelb said, you should sell clean merchandise because I would totally butt a clean shirt or a phone case or something, what do you say? I do have clean merchandise, but I don't love it. I have a store and right now it's just full of tea cow stuff. <laughs> I'm not capable of making clean shirts. I don't know what I would put on them, but if you guys want to create a design for my t-shirt shop, please do it, because I bet you guys would be better at it than I would, and you can just send them to me. I'll make an email for you guys to send it to, and maybe one of your shirts will end up in my shirt shop. And once I update it, I'll let you guys know, and you can go buy some cool new shirts and stuff. Abby said, when and where was this? This was in a horrible production I did, and I really hope that the director is not watching this. I lived in New York, and I did a lot of random theater and cabaret stuff while I lived there. And I did an off-Broadway production of Odyssey. Cersei and I, I had fun with the cast and the director and everything but the production was not my favorite I really am praying that he never sees this because I will be so embarrassed if he knows that I think it's a horrible production Colleen needs a cat said what was your must recent nightmare about I'm really curious to know what happened in your mind every night so my dreams are always really gory and always really terrifying and someone I love is always being raped or killed, or I am being raped or killed. And that's generally every dream that I have. There uh, was a girl that was a big part of my life, and now she's not a big part of my life. I'm not gonna go into that story, but we are not friends anymore. And she was in my dream the other night, and she was very upset that she's not a part of my life anymore. And uh, she started talking to me very strangely, trying to be manipulative and creepy. And then all of a sudden she slit her wrists open on both sides. She was like, this is for you. And she rubbed it all over my face, her slitty wrist open wound blood. And I was screaming and sobbing and she wouldn't stop. And she was just rubbing her flappy skin wounds all over my body. And so finally I got away and I was running away from her and she was chasing me and she was trying to kill me and it was really scary <laughs> and that was my most recent one so you're welcome for that really lovely bedtime story I hope you enjoyed that so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you liked today's Glean's Corner make sure you subscribe for videos every Tuesday and Friday and if you want to meet me live and in person 
just check out the Miranda Sings website because I'm on tour and we're adding tons of dates. So if you don't see your city on the website right now, it probably will be on the website soon because I'm pretty much going everywhere this year. I love you and I will talk to you later. Now you know why I stay up so late, feeling sorry for myself because I can't have what I've wanted my whole life. My entries when I was here was, I played baseball with my buddy today. It was fun. Oh, See, man, I so got, <laughs> people are always like, how do you stay so happy and positive all the time? How do you choose to, I got it all out when I was 12.